Hi, welcome. In this video, the topic is how to launch, how to install Arch Linux B Extended. In April, we've changed our things a little bit around. First of all, uh, let's talk about this. This is your uh, BIOS setup, nice logo, which means you have BIOS. You can choose things up here in these lines, but normally everybody stays in line number one. But if you have hardware problems, you can choose others. Now it can also be that you have a newer system, you have a UFI, don't have a logo, five lines, you're in the middle, move up to the first line and boot. So then everybody's going to be in the same um, installer, same lines you see, and you boot up into the desktop of your choice. In this case, this is extended and extended has been created and you can create something similar because of the tutorials that are online on adiclinksp.com to create your own ISO, uh, your own combinations. And this case, in this case, we would like to promote tiling window managers, six of them, and Openbox as fallback. So we boot up in Openbox, but it's not the general Openbox we have. It's not the one from um, the flagship, right? It has something different up here. It's a polybar, it's not TIN2, it's another application. And there are two, at least three uh, more toolbars, I can just say but it's all choices, what Lego block you would like to have. So installing in Openbox, right mouse click, this is Openbox, but it's a very small, minimal menu, right? The other one has a longer one, that's some more to learn. Here we skipped a few things, we deleted some stuff, and it has not that much software. Anything Arclinx B related is minimal as a starter. First, I would like to suggest to take a look at Gparted and say, okay, um, should I delete it? Should I follow the advice? Or will I keep everything? Will I resize things and so on? It's all up to you. I advise just one operating system to keep things simple and not be frustrated with all kinds of troubles and things that are not working. So clean everything out and then run Calamaris. That would be my approach. This is your standard desktop-like thing. Maybe you've been watching some videos on window, on tiling window managers, then it's all stretched out over your uh, display, right? So this is the normal size. 3.2.20, that's the reference we're working with. And in this case, we have to warn you guys that in the end, you might get a message, unmount things. Well, I say always unmount because that's the function it does, but the command in Linux is U mount, right? So if that happens, that's cool, that's great news. That means your installation is successful and you need to reboot, basically. The rest of the changes are, are that we have a choice, a grand choice, a, a toy store of choices, of toys that you can select and you have to click them open, right? Uh, these guys, you choose which kernel you want to have. Previous video on Xmonad, we installed the Zen kernel. You can try them out. Or click them open and decide or install them all. So it's it's up to you. You can click here or just select one. Themes, Microsoft Teams, yes it is. WhatsApp is here, uh-huh. Zoom is there and so on. You need an internet connection to do that. If you select all of it and you don't have an internet connection, you won't get any of it. Simple, but it will not crash. Good. Calamaris is a free installer. We should not remind you that, but it is. It's not from us, but we are fully, um, how do you say the word? We are behind the concept and the idea, and we try to develop it a little bit ourselves with them, together with them, right? Development applications, if you need them, install them. Office applications, choose, right? Multimedia, there is so much multimedia out there. This is a short list. I tell you that, that's a short list. Next, internet. If it says locale, it means it's going to take the Calamares locale. So if you've taken Spanish, then your Firefox will be in Spanish. LibreOffice will be in Spanish and so on. Next, teaming. Lots of choices, probably more available on AOR but that's up to you. Click and you have these guys already. Gaming, there's lots of gaming out there. 
But of course, if you have the Meta Steam, you can have a library of games and it just works out of the box. And these are all well known applications on Linux, the best out there. Next, utilities. Take a look, maybe there are things in here you recognize, like Google Earth maybe, things that are fun to play with and um, maybe you'd like to install them as well. Accessories, you have to click them open, lots of things in there. More file managers, guys who want to develop icons. I always use Nemo to find, to use the search actually from Nemo and look for images, SVGs in my case. Lots of stuff, you check it out. And this is for us, if we want to develop, we click just this thing and we have everything we need to talk to each other to develop. Next, choose where you live. And then choose your keyboard. And then erase disk. One, two, three. Plus, hiberni uh, plus encrypt means six choices plus <coughs> plus manual partitioning, seven choices. Next. Oops, not gonna go for a manual. If you wanna do, <coughs> sorry. If you wanna do that, there's an article on articlinux.com, the Calamars, all you need to know about Calamars article, 30 videos. All right. <coughs> you type in the name of your B of your system can be any name password and decide what you want to do with the logins go for next install and then wait you have to wait well you have to wait till it ends but here is where I always say now you're in the clear filling up file systems it's gonna take a while at the 80% uh, link here or at 80% you'll probably end there for a while. It all depends what you selected in your installer in Calamaris. If you select everything, it's gonna take a super long time, depending on the speed of your internet, the speed of your PC, and so on, the speed of your hard disk, all the bottlenecks, right? They will decide how long it's gonna take. But don't think it's crashing, right? Just wait it out, walk away and, and see afterwards if it's installed because it really is gonna stick here around 80% and it's doing all the work in the back end right so um, sit this one out I'm gonna pause the video here I was um, reading my checklist here <clears throat> the things we forgot to say is if um, you first want to have a look around and see what is this and navigate and later on you want to install then you have to look for the applications, right? So we have Articlinux Tweet tool up here. That's interesting for you to know. The fast track, add remove, install Articlinux debug, install Articlinux. So you can navigate back to your um, application that you wanted to have. As well here, the Articlinux welcome app. That's the one I just closed, right? So you can find it again. Now Ctrl T, also interesting because this works everywhere. That's why it's so interesting. And then you don't need to look for any kind of uh, menu or anything. This works. It's gonna boot up Calamaris and give us exactly the same look and feel here. And now I'm waiting for an installation. On this installation, we get the example for the error. So it says boost Python error in job you mount which means everything installed fine you close you exit open box you restart open box and we're booting into the real hard disk thing which is a virtual hard disk but it's gonna work just the same and now it's up to you right you have your desktop you need to figure out everything works you have your menu you can decide to actually say i'm gonna go for explore myself i'm sherlock holmes and i'm gonna figure it out myself i'm not gonna read anything but there is also a Control alt f that's gonna launch my firefox and there is arco linux d.com 
In the articlinksd.com we have phases and open box is here and all the others are here and everyone has a lots of articles, lots of information in here about Openbox. But since Openbox is part of a flagship, you'll find also information about Openbox i3 and XFC here, right? So it combines, these guys are combined, you'll find elements, TIN2 is an element of Openbox, but this time we're an extended, Openbox extended, so this time it's using Polybar. Ah, Polybar, then you go look for Polybar. Is there something about Polybar? Oh yeah. So use, our, use the tools, use the websites. It has a lot of information to figure out how to work with your desktops. Have fun.